So it was a Fiat Flash 750 motorcycle. Holy oh, so, crap. Change the sprocket. It was a 750? 750cc Honda Vietnam. Holy, no one needs, no one needs uh, 750. <laughs> my hand know. went there. No. It got to there. No. Yes. Did it break your wrist? <laughs> uh, once my hand got stuck in there, it got halfway around, and then because I turned the tick over on the engine down so low, the engine cut out, just turned off. Because the chain got so tight, it cut the engine out. So my hand stuck there. I about to reach over, put it in neutral, get the tire, spin it back around, and like it from there, there, and there were hanging off. There is gold ridiculous on the hanging off. But it went all the way through. I had ligament damage, tendon damage, shattered the bones. The only thing holding it on was a bit of skin on this side, and the veins were still attached. Because the veins were still on there, the surgeons managed to rebuild. I didn't lose my fingers. But it did take two years of physio to be able to go like that. Oh my gosh, man. That's the craziest injury I ever heard of from a parkour guy. Yes, a non-parkour injury. Figures. Yeah. Yeah, I swear to you, my two, my two biggest injuries were like non-parkour injuries. Go figure. Go figure. All my worst injuries have been non-parkour related. Parkour is the only thing I've got my, my brain in focus, so I know what I'm doing. Little injuries all the time. Big ones. I'm, I'm too focused for big injuries. <laughs>